let me use this black area to draw something. Okay, so here is the market. Okay, and there's a new trend develops. All right. Let's suppose this is the first momentum. So we skip this. And this would be the first reemergence of momentum, the first pullback that you're seriously considering taking. And let's suppose that the momentum does reemerge and you get a long signal. You get a long signal, you're long. What I want to show you is market structure. If you enter here, maybe this is your 1R, maybe this is your Keltner, maybe this is 1R, but there's another important level. This is the previous pivot. Every pullback trader must know what is the previous pivot. The previous pivot is not a calculated secret value. The previous pivot is there for everyone to see because price put it there. We don't have to calculate it. It's on the chart. It jumps off the chart. This is a previous pivot. This is the first area where the trade has a certain likelihood of failing. The first bump. Two situations. One situation is where the 1R, I'm going to call this R, the 1R is farther away than the first pivot. I'm going to call this P. So you enter here. What you should consider is where is P and where is R. If P is closer to your entry than R, then the first bump is within your R distance. If P is closer, I would take partial profits at P. I would take a little profit and I would tighten my stop at P because P is the first level where the trade can rightfully fail. Previous pivot. I just went long here. But let's say my first R is here. My one R is here and my stop is here, which means my R is closer than the previous pivot. In that case, there's nothing to do because I'm going to exit the trade at 1R anyway. Always look at the past. Always look at what happened before. Always look at market structure. And whatever your time frame, could be a five-minute chart or a weekly chart, doesn't matter. Where is the last pivot before you enter the trade? That level is the first roadblock your trade needs to clear. But if your 1R is outside the pivot, then I always take partial profits here if I'm doing the trade with ProSTR.